back on our video on the channel today. We are here for the player ratings between Newcastle United and Manchester City. Make sure I watch this vlog. This is one. This is the best vlog this season. Yes, we didn't win the game, but by far the best vlog. Maybe's on the channel. Maybe so make sure to watch the vlog. It'll be on the eye button. I don't know what corner it is. There'll be a link in the description, and there will be an end screen to the vlog. So if you want to watch out this video and then watch the vlog, it would mean a lot. If you want to watch the vlog, let me know. And in this video, we'll go for the player ratings. Let me know your player ratings in the comment section down below. And yes, we'll do it now. And I'm absolutely buzzing. I've gotten around an hour now, and I'm still absolutely buzzing, man. What a result it was. Let's get into the player ratings now. Ingo Martin Devabga. He kept us in that game. Martin de Vabga, by far, for, for, not, not by far actually, for me, my man of the match. He conceded two, yes. <laughs> Was he seriously going to save that second goal? The first goal, he can't do nothing. I think his view's a bit blocked and it's right in that corner by Raheem Sterling. But for me, Martin de Vabga is getting a 10 out of 10. He made some crucial saves. He was confident. He was calm. That save in the 94. Second minute, 91st minute from Sterling, absolutely fantastic. Martin de Rabga, 10 out of 10, my man of the match. Right back was Javier Manquillo, and in the first half, he wasn't good enough, in my opinion, but in the second half, he really grew into the game. He really showed Steve Bruce, you should be playing me. And if he plays like that, setting off performance for the rest of the season, yeah, I'm quite happy with Javier Manquillo to be in the squad, because Javier Manquillo was meant to be leaving the club at the end of the season where his contract runs out on a free. But for me, Javier Manquillo grew into the game a lot. He caused problems. Like, Manchester City, if Javier Manquillo is causing problems to you, how are you going to win the Champions League, the Premier League and all, all that? For me, Javier Manquillo is going to get a... Give him a seven. Federico Fernandez will do uh, Fernandez for me. Absolute unit. He was absolutely fantastic for Federico Fernandez throughout the full game. Uh, didn't really make a mistake wrong. He was for me. He was leading the pitch. Not we'll get onto Shelby in a second. But for me, as a captain, Fernandez was leading the defence. He was controlling the defence, and I think him and Clark have a really good connection onto the pitch, as a friendship and onto the pitch as like a centre back parvin. I can't even speak on that happy man. But Fernandez for me is. I give Federico Fernandez a nine out of ten. He was absolutely fantastic. Of a centre back, even Clark, as I mentioned there, he didn't really put a foot wrong. We all wanted to see Fabian Shaw, but they've done well. They've done really well for Thursday now. It's going to be tough for to see who we who will play. But Clark, I think he was. I think Fernandez was the best centre back on the pitch. But I'll give Clark an eight. Paul Dummett, I was very disappointed with Paul Dummett. I think I thought he was one of the worst players against Villa. He was good today. He was really, really good. He was making some great headers. There was a header where it was like it was going over to Devabga, but with so much power, he just bloody what what was it called? A diving header? Oh, it was it was a diving header, but like he was clearing it away. Paul Dumbert was really, really good. Uh, what can I give him? A, give him an eight. Uh, lots of <laughs> what I quickly say to keep in mind. Uh, normally when I've been to the game, I put the program there. I forgot to buy a program and I forgot me money, <laughs> so I'll get I'll get a program because I need to look nice up there for me programs and stuff. But I'll forgot I thought I would have to mention that the goal scorer Jetro Williams. We got the man of the match award from uh, the Premier League and he was absolutely fantastic. He's getting a ten out of ten for my opinion. His goal was taken well right into that bottom corner. Uh, he was he was really really good, Jethro Willems. Him and Maximin have this great connection on the pitch and off the pitch. Uh, absolutely fantastic. The way them two can link up. Maximin was speaking. He just he just knows where Willems is and Willems also where Maximin is. That's the only reason why I think Maximin's playing on that left hand side because Willems won't be able to go right wing back. His finish was absolutely fantastic, and. Jethro Willems, a great performance, a fantastic performance. Just seeing there, lads, I've got final score I'll be behind me, big telly here. She was on match of the day tonight, so make sure you to watch it. Jethro Willems gets a 10. Isaac Hayden, first half, from that first half performance, my, my, my standout player, some of the tackles he made. If Scott Southgate was watching, he has to like look at Hayden. Hayden 
was absolutely fantastic in that game. I'll give Hayden a nine. Uh, he didn't put a foot wrong. He, he was leading on free kicks and stuff. He was getting your men on your marking and stuff. And that's fantastic from Isaac Hayden. He's getting a nine out of ten. Fantastic performance by him. Making some great tackles. With the, I remember one. It was it was Sterling running to the box. He just got him from behind and just won the ball so cleanly. It was absolutely fantastic. The next centre midfielder, John Joe Shelby. Oh my God, what a goal, lad. If you haven't seen the vlog, make sure to watch it because the, the limbs in when Shelby scored was absolutely insane. There hasn't been a late goal at St James Park in a very long time by Newcastle. It's actually done something for Newcastle. I actually can't remember the last time Ebby's ever, and if you can really class that as a late goal, the 81st minute. 89th minute goal by John Joe Shelby. A fantastic goal. What a finish that is. Shelby, capt he captained the team, uh, but he was working hard and compared to what happened on Monday night, I was like, he's, he needs to be dropped, he's not good enough, he's uh, this, that and the other. That's the issue with Shelby, he's the most inconsistent player in the Premier League in my opinion. He can be absolutely fantastic one minute and he can be terrible the next, but today was a good day, it was a fantastic finish. And it looks like he's got a good relationship with Steve Bruce as well, which is always good to see. John Joe Shelby, 10 out of 10. It's pretty easy. Moving on to the attackers. Yes, that's right. They didn't score again, but it doesn't matter. Uh, another defender scored, but it's all good. It's all good. We'll start off with Miguel Amir on. He got, the, he got an assist. Miggy got an assist. He's finally got an assist. He's finally done something at the club. He's, he's, he's been worth it, lads. 21 million for one assist. Get in now, but... All jokes aside, Miguel Amir one was fantastic today. His work rate's something else. Yes, his passing wasn't spot on every time. I thought his passing could improve a little bit, but the overall performance, if you looked at Miguel, Miguel Amir one, was, was great. You can't ask much more from him. His effort's there, the work rate's there. What more do you want? And he got an assist. Miguel Amir one. I give him an 8. Yeah, we'll give Miguel Amir one an 8. Alan St. Maximin. I thought in the first half he was great, he was creating chances and sometimes, I, I think he knows him in himself as well, he's got to play the easy easy ball sometimes because sometimes he'll have the ball and he'll try and take on someone and then he loses it and it's a bit frustrating when the easy ball is there to be made but overall a great performance by him, I'll give him an 8. I don't know why, but in the second half, he's been a little bit quiet. But it's his pace that's so electric in your Class United counter attack play. When he got fouled and got substituted off, and that's when I was thinking, oh shit. But yeah, St. Maximin getting an 8. Joe Linton, fans are be, being like saying a lot about him. And I said myself, he should be dropped. And anytime I say a player should be dropped, a player should do this, that, and the other. They do really, really good. So, and did Joel and do it for me today? He did. His so like, yes, he's not every ball that comes up to him. He's not gonna hold up every single one. But sometimes when he did, there would be two players. I remember there was a time where it was Fernandinho and was it? I think it was Walker. They both came to him, and he was in the middle of them, and he just flicked it, flicked the ball in between them. He's. He is a good player, right? We've got to give him time. He's in a brand new environment. You can tell he's sort of like shy and stuff. And he hasn't really came out of his shell yet on the pitch and off the pitch. For me, Joe Linton, I'm going to give him an 8. Because I thought somebody told the player was good. He, um, him and Fernandinho, was, it, was a, it was a good little match-up. Fernandinho was a little bit smaller, but a little bit more experienced. But I thought Joe Linton probably got the better out of him. going to give him an 8 out of 10. Substitutes. Uh, who was the first one? Who was the first sub? It was Dwight Gale. Dwight Gale. Gale and Atsu came on. Uh, Gale, I didn't think he really done much. I've got to give Gale a six. He didn't do much. Atsu, I'm not going to give a rating. He didn't play much. He didn't really. He got the assist for the second goal. Uh, you know what, Atsu, I'll give you. I'll give you an eight because you, you got the assist. And I don't know if Shelby said, "I'll oh, play to me," or you thought, "Or oh, I'll play to Shelby." Whatever, whatever happened, I'd say there you go. Uh, for Steve Bruce, he set, set up his team today really, really well. It's because fans don't want him at the club. So when we lose a game, everything gets thrown on, on him. But as soon as we do well, 
but you don't go, oh, Steve Bruce, well done, mate, well done for doing this, you've done really, really well. We don't do that. I don't know why. I am now. Steve Bruce today, mate. You set the team fantastically. Defensively, counter-attacks, everything about it. Steve Bruce was, he put up his team great today. Maybe to substitute to a bit, meh. I would like to see in different players, maybe, but I, we can't argue. With Drew 2 against Manchester City. If you haven't watched the vlog, uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah, lads, a fantastic result. Watch the vlog. Watch, for, for watching this video, I'll see you all in the next one.